Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be focusing on how to rank an e-commerce store. We're going to try to cover as much as we possibly can in this video um, and I'm going to show you guys a load of different examples as well that you should be taking into consideration when you are trying to scale your organic SEO traffic for your e-commerce store. So we have got three different types of websites. We are going to be looking at Ticketmaster.com. For anybody that, that doesn't know, they are a e-commerce store that sells tickets. Um, slightly different style of e-commerce, but however, it is still deemed as an e-commerce store. You are still paying online and purchasing tickets. We're looking at runnersneat.com. These guys sell running shoes and we also have cigarslimited.co.uk so three separate um, websites that we're looking at very similar SEO strategy across the board um, mainly because they are doing a lot of things right um, there are a few things that I'm also going to take into consideration that they're not doing that you should be doing on your website as well so if we take a look at cigarslimited.co.uk as you can see here um, they have got a they have got a variety of different um, categories on their website so if we actually take a look even though they are trying to obviously rank for buy cigars online they have got various different subcategories as well so if we take a look here you can see Cuban cigars New World cigars um, and they've also got a load of different brands as well. So, for example, they have got Bolivian cigars, um, Cohiba cigars, Diplomaticos cigars. So these are all different um, brands. And just by them having all of these brands, they do rank fairly high for buy cigars online. And they are currently one, two, three, four. They're position four at the minute. Um, now let's take a look at how their website is set up so obviously this is the home page of the website um, and if we take a look here uh, the home page the page title at the top is buy cigars online at uk cuban cigars humidors and pipe tobaccos um, so that's the page title so they are trying to rank their home page for buy cigars online because of how the website is structured right so one thing straight off the bat that I would be looking to do on this homepage that they can definitely improve on, and I'm going to be look a little bit technical here, but they don't actually have a H1 um, on this um, page. Now what a H1 is, is if we were to take a look at, for example, Ticketmaster, um, this is a H1 here. Um, for, for some of the advanced SEOs, they will know what H1 is, but H1 is basically the most prominent um, or one of the most prominent ranking factors for a page. So if you're trying to rank for bet buy um, Adidas running shoes, if this page was trying to rank for buy Adidas running shoes, you would want to have a, a variation of that. So Adidas running shoes, for example. Um, so that's what it would look like and then you would obviously have your selections of different Adidas running shoes um, down this but obviously Ticketmaster to try and rank for Lauren Daigle tickets so they've got Lauren Daigle tickets um, as the H1 so for this website the home page um, is pretty spot on from an internal linking point of view which we will touch on for every single website but I would try to um, have the H1 here as buy cigars online UK, for example, and they should get a little bit of a, of a boost. Because um, for anybody that doesn't know, obviously when Google or Bing or any search, um, when, when they visit your website, when the robots visit your website, they will look at a variety of different things. They will look at your page title, which for anybody that doesn't know what a page title is, it is this. So Buy Cigars UK, uh, Tobacconist, um, Buy Cigars Online. Then they will look at your meta description. 
and then they will look at your H1, which right now this page is missing. Um, so it's definitely worth um, adding a H1 to this page. And again, if you're trying to rank for by running shoes or I don't know, uh, standing wooden wooden standing desk, just have a H1 which mentions the keyword that you are trying to rank for. Um, also, for the more advanced SEOs, this video is going to essentially be beginners, then intermediate, then advanced. So as the video goes on, we will be covering more advanced SEO strategies. So that is that from a page structure point of view. Um, and again, the same goes with any products that you are, are trying to sell as well. So for example, these guys, they're actually doing pretty well from a, from a product point of view. If we actually take a look here at this code, if I can zoom in, and if I, is it gonna let me move this? There we go. So if we take a look here, you can see your H1 tag, and it obviously has backwards authentic light brown cigars, eight pack of five. Um, so they are obviously trying to rank for that, um, and they have mentioned it in their H1. So on their product pages, they're actually doing pretty well. Um, from that point of view, they do obviously have unique photos um, but if we go back to the home page, because that's what we were looking at before, one thing that these guys do very well is they internal link to all of the um, pages that make them the most money. So for example, um, all of these are internal links to like some of their most important pages. So for example, David Off Cigars, Dunhill London, um, DuPont Paris, Les Fines Lames, I've definitely butchered that, but again, it's a different type of brand. Um, they obviously link to pipe tobacco, luxury brands, humidors. Um, for anybody that, that doesn't know what a humidor is, it's basically where you store your cigars to keep them fresh. Um, so they are linking to a lot of um, their most important pages. And again, they are linking to their cigars page as well. So, that is working out pretty well for them. One thing that you that these guys could do to improve the usability of this um, page here is try to include more categories of, of cigars, kind of like this page here. Um, so they've got like clearance cigars, bulk buys, Cuban cigars, etc. Only because somebody that is landing on their homepage, they might just want a variation of different cigars. So just from a user experience point of view, and that can definitely be improved. Um, now let's take a look at runner's need. Um, so again, what they have done um, is they've essentially internally linked to all the different types of brands that they are doing. So very, very similar. These guys obviously have the brands down here. These guys have the brands that run and choose up here across the website. So from an SEO point of view, as you can see, from one e-commerce store to another e-commerce store, not much has changed. And one, one thing that I would like to mention as well is buy run and choose online, runnersneed.com, with their ranking position once. So their SEO strategy really does work. Um, so their, their homepage is really good. Um, they have got a variation of um, product category pages, which we'll go into in just a second. Um, they obviously have different accessories, so like socks, running tops, etc. Um, and they also internal link to some of their recent blogs as well. So like the ultimate spring running gear guide, as you can see here, they are internally linking to um, three different blogs as well. So it is good that they have um, started to build up their blog as well. Now, one thing that I will recommend um, for anybody that is starting off in e-commerce SEO is the blog side of stuff, like for example, the ultimate spring running gear guide or how to choose the right running shoes, these aren't gonna be like ultimate money makers. They're, from an ROI point of view, they aren't the highest yielding ROI page. Now that being said, you want to essentially try and build up your brand as much as you possibly can. Um, so you don't want to just be the, the, the shoe selling store. Um, you want people to come back to your website. And again, it helps 
um, from a foundational type page. If you are only just going after buy running shoes, buy female running shoes, or buy cigars online, um, you will be able to rank. Uh, but one thing you will find is if you do have these blog pages going after longer tail keywords, you're essentially building a foundation of good articles on your website that will help support your hire to rank for keywords as well. So like the buy cigars online, the buy running shoes online, those will need a good uh, selection of long tail blog articles. Um, so yeah, that being said, really good website. Um, one thing that I will take a look at is, let's see what their H1 is, or if they even have a H1, because I am not certain if they do. View page source, H1. Very interesting, they don't actually have a H1 as well. So again, they could um, improve upon that, um, just to, build a little bit more um, build a little bit more of an SEO friendly homepage. So that being said, let's take a look at uh, Ticketmaster. Let's take a look at their homepage and break it down. So Ticketmaster, slightly different um, style of website. Obviously they have got a variety <clears throat> of different genres, a variety of different um, types of events so obviously they do concerts um, they do sports events like for example um, I'm guessing these are NBA yeah NBA they do arts and theatre they do family shows they do all sorts of, of different um, types of tickets um, and again all of these pages that they are internally linking from from their home page is the highest ROI pages. Um, now again, a few things that I will mention as well, very similar to um, Runner's Need, right at the bottom, they do have their blog role as well. So how to protect yourself against ticketing scams, um, 2024 MLB FAQs, Broadway Show Guide, etc etc now these blogs they're not going to be high yielding ROI pages but the reason why they would have done that is because they want to rank higher for buy tickets online and these are all supporting articles so it's really good to see that they are doing that from an SEO point of view now let's take a look at some of their category pages so for example buy MBA tickets um, they have got all of the NBA teams here. <clears throat> They've obviously broke it down into Eastern Conference and also Western Conference. So my guess is if I was to search by NBA tickets online, they should be ranking pretty high up. So they are ranking position one, two, three after um, NBA tickets or after the actual official NBA website. So they, from an SEO point of view, they are doing very well. They are also, I'm guessing here, going to be ranking for Denver Nuggets tickets as well. Um, position two, uh, below NBA website as well. So again, they have structured their pages very, very well. Um, one thing that is also good about this website is they have got cat content on their um product page as well, or their category page, um, as you, you would call it. So for example, every single one of these uh, websites have got a category page. So a category page, or some people call it a collections page. Essentially, a category slash collections page holds all of the relevant pages, or sorry, the, the relevant products in a category. So if, say for example, I wanted to buy a blue t-shirt you could essentially have a category page where the h1 here would say buy blue t-shirts online or blue t-shirts and you would have a variety of different blue t-shirts now the good thing about scaling out category pages is you can set up multiple category pages that one product might fall into so for example on this website 
you might have on running shoes or buy buy on on running shoes as one category then you might have black running shoes which there might be a variety of different brands that would fall into that category so you might have on running shoes you might have puma running shoes you might have Ad all the black adidas running shoes all falling into the black um, running shoes category um, so not a lot of people focus on their category pages um, and the category pages are probably the most important pages um, so this is essentially a good example of a category page now let's take a look at some of the category pages on the cigars limited website so if we take a look at uh, one of these ones will look at Dunhill London right so Dunhill white spot pipes so this is a category page and within the category page they also have different types of pipes um, so for example we have the amber root pipes um, this is also so one thing when it when you have a super big website like what these guys have you might have subcategory pages as well so this is a, a little bit more of an advanced strategy so dunhill is obviously a brand <clears throat> then you have got all of the different types of dunhill pipes underneath that so it's essentially another way of organizing your website um, these guys obviously um, because they don't have a super large variety of different on running shoes you could consider this as just a category but one thing that i will also mention as well is they do have different subcategories so they have got on running shoes as the main primary category then they have men on running shoes then they also have women's on running shoes then you could also say that all of the different sizes as well they could be deemed as subcategories or you could also say that the different colors as well so you've got black um, you have green you've got orange and so on and so forth so when you have a super large um, e-commerce store you might want to consider using subcategories as well if you only have let's say a hundred products you might not want to go down that route but again it all depends on the search volumes of every single keyword now let's take a look at the actual structure so as we can see here the h1 is right at the top if we were to look at these guys as well so they've got amber root pipes they have got the h1 right at the top and then they also have a little bit of content now <clears throat> One thing that these guys also do very well is they internally link to all of the relevant different pipes. Same goes with on running shoes. So they've got the Cloud Monster, they've got Cloud, Cloud Flow, Cloud Flyer. Um, so these are all different um, types of categories or, or subcategories if you, if you want to call them that. Let's take a look at these guys. So if we were to take a look at Atlanta Hawks, um, tickets do they internally link now one thing i will mention is that ticketmaster are set up slightly differently yes they do internally link here right at the bottom so fans also viewed and then they internally link to other relevant um nba teams as well so again as we can see as we're breaking down each individual e-commerce website um, the SEO strategy doesn't change. Obviously, the design of the website changes, but um, the SEO from one website to another, very, very similar. And again, we're looking at three completely different uh, websites. Now, let's take a look at the actual product page because the product page is super important as well when you are trying to rank for e-commerce um, keywords. So, one thing that I like about Cigars Limited is they have a lot of social proof. Um, and again, this is slightly taking one step back from SEO, but they do have reviews at the top. So if somebody had bought this, um, I would say five, five stars. Let's just try and find a... Let's just try and find a product that somebody would have bought. So for example, the Bolivian Balissos, um cigar as you can see 30 reviews now this is really good social proof for anybody that might not have bought this cigar they could essentially take a look at the reviews 
and decide if they want to buy these cigars based off of the flavor, the type, the, the how, how long they last, etc. They will be able to find all of that um, either in the reviews or also in the actual product description. Now, one thing that I absolutely despise when people don't do this, and again, it's a rookie mistake, is when they don't have a product description. Um, luckily, all of these websites do have a good product description, um, but it, the thing is with a product description is you are essentially explaining to um, Google what this product is about. So the more descriptive you can be with your product descriptions, the better. Um, now again, there are certain caveats to that. Uh, if, say for example, it is a very low co competition, you might not need product descriptions. That being said, because it's low competition product now, it might not be a low competition in two years time. You might have more competitors in the space in two years time. So you essentially want to be um, the best SEO website, even if you are in a low comp competitive industry. Um, so these guys, they've got everything that I would want to know if I was buying a cigar. So the length, the rate, the ring gauge, the strength, um, packaging, Vitola, I'm not sure what that is, the smoking time, etc. Um, and then obviously they've also mentioned where the cigar originates from. So South America from Spanish rule. Uh, the Boliviar brand was created in 1902, so on and so forth. One thing that they could definitely do to improve this page is internally link to their Boliviar brand page. So, um, for example, Boliviar cigars, uh, they could be internally linking to this page within the actual product description. Um, that is one thing that I would want to see from this website. They are obviously, they do have breadcrumbs, so for anybody that doesn't know what breadcrumbs is, is this essentially makes it a good user experience if somebody's wanting to go back up to the Cuban Cigars page, for example, they can very easily click and boom, they're presented by tons of different Cuban cigars. Now let's take a look at the product description or the product page on Runner's Need. As we can see here, they do have a... Uh, the breadcrumbs up here, so they've obviously got women's shoes, road, and then the product. They do have product description here, and again, they are talking about the materials, the key features, the tech specs, etc. Again, one thing that I would want from this website is to internally link back up to the category page. They haven't done this, um, but again, they might not be... Um, SEOs, for, for example, um, that have SEO optimized every single page. It might be something they are planning on doing in the future, but again, you don't want to be missing th uh, this out. From an internal linking point of view, you should be linking back up to, for example, the on page or the cloud runner uh, category page. So again, just small tweaks here and there. They obviously have got reviews, which is really good to see. Uh, details. They are, let's see, are they, inter are they internally linking? No, they're not. So they could be internally linking. Um, they are, one thing that they are doing is they are also internally linking to you may also like. So that is a pretty decent thing to have. Let's just see if these guys are doing that. They aren't internally linking to other products. Now, one thing that I would say that's super important when it comes to e-commerce is let's say somebody searches Alfred Dunhill, the white spot amber root, and they land on this page and they want this product. With e-commerce, products go out of stock. So if I, as a visitor, land on this page and I'm like, ah, cigarslimited.co.uk don't have this, this product in stock, Naturally speaking, you might scroll down on the page and you then might be presented by other products that are relevant to the page, to, to the product that we're, we're looking at. So from a conversion point of view, you always want this section on your website. It's just another way to try and convert that customer into a paying customer. So right now, cigarslimited.co.uk don't have that. Um, 
it's a real shame because everything else from an SEO point of view and a lot of things from a conversion point of view, they do very well. Um, but just by adding other products or similar products, they could definitely improve their conversion rate optimization. So the, the rate of somebody that's actually purchasing a product from them. So that is one thing to look at uh, when we are looking at this website. Apart from that, very spot on. Um, let's take a look at uh, Ticketmaster. Now Ticketmaster might be slightly more difficult. Um, I suppose they kind of have the different dates um, when we are looking at their, their website. Um, so they do have C tickets. Um, I suppose this, this is kind of their, um, their product page. So obviously they've got the different um, seats available. I'm actually surprised at how cheap some of these seats are. Um, I, I just would have thought that this the tickets would have been more expensive but that's besides the point um, they obviously do have a different variety of prices um, or of, of seats as well so you can never really go wrong with like a ticketing website because the sheer amount of, uh, of tickets that they sell now um, let's take a look at the runnersneed.com blog uh, and this will probably be the last thing that I would be looking at. So blog. Um, what I'll do is I'll go to the home page. So as we can see here, this is, is the blog role um, on runners need. And if we take a look, um, how good is your town or city to run in? And we've obviously got a variety of different towns and cities to, to run. You can actually, it is actually a really good blog because they've essentially ranked every single town and city to, to run. Cambridge is number one um, in the UK. And then they've also got um, a variety of different blogs. So running Tokyo Marathon, they're talking about very um, niche relevant articles. Um, let's take a look at cigarslimited.co.uk's blog. So, news, um, cigar news. So they are talking about different pipes, new and DuPont limited edition dragon cigar case. Um, what else are they talking about? Are they talking about any guides? Like, for example, how to pick the best cigar, for example, news, cigar library, uh, snuff. So yeah, they're, they're talking about different, um, products, for example, can, can, can you cut a cigar in half? Yeah. So they, they, they do have a good blog role. One thing that I would say is are they ranking for it no they're not oh yeah they're, they're position one two three four five position five um one thing that i would like from this uh, is a better structure for for their blog like i'm just looking at these guys so stoogieshop.com and just from a SEO point of view, this article is probably they just written a little bit in more detail, um, hence why it is ranking above them. So I think that this blog roll on Cigars Limited is a little bit dated. Um, they could definitely improve upon this section. Now let's take a look at Ticketmaster. And let's see. Do, 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 do. How to protect yourself against ticking scams again very very relevant to buy tick buy online tickets um, or buy tickets online and again a very good structured seo uh, friendly article um let's just see if they are ranking number one they are doo -doo 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 -doo. So position two barclays.co.uk is position one I mean, they're not in a terrible position. 
from an SEO point of view. Let's just take a look at another one of their blogs. So let's do Broadway Show Guide. Um, the good thing that they are doing is they are internally linking. So this this article is obviously talking about buy five, five Broadway shows to see and winter, and they are obviously ranking to the Mariah Carey tickets page. So buy tickets for Mar Mariah Carey's next concert. Um, same with a load of these different um, pages. They could definitely internally link a little bit more, um, but. Again, from an SEO point of view, I'd probably give Ticketmaster a 9 out of 10. I would give CG Cigars Limited or C Cigars Limited uk. I'd probably give these guys a solid 8 out of 10. And RunnersNeed.com, I would give a nine out of ten as well so that has been my video on e-commerce traffic and also scaling your seo for e-commerce if you guys do have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comment section and if you guys want a free 15 minute growth strategy a free 15 minute growth strategy call for your website make sure to do make sure to check out casual-dash.com finally got there at the end thanks